And my name is Arno Stevens, Exec Chef at the Gherkin, uh, Group Chef for Citizens. So a typical starter here uh, would be the velouté of Cardigan Bay mussels. So we took uh, Cardigan Bay as, as choice preference. The first part of it is that we make a uh, velouté. Uh, so we start it off with shallots and thyme and garlic and bay leaf, as you would do a more marinier. Cook them ever so quickly. Uh, deshell them uh, just as they open, let them cool. We then ice smoke them, so uh, playing with the taste of mussels, cider goes very well with mussels, so we use uh, an apple wood and hay and then cold smoke them. The juice uh, and the stock uh, invariably from the mussels, we turn that into a veluta, so milk and cream is added to that. To make it quite light, there's enough flavour uh, in the stock. A ganache of uh, ivoire white chocolate to replace that, nice and light. Uh, when the cream and the uh, milk comes up, we infuse that with garlic and thyme, as you would do. The pork side of it, um, our mussels and pork go extremely well. So we looked at suckling pig. Uh, suckling pig belly is a beautiful uh, cut. We salt that overnight, uh, and then the following day, rinse that off. Slow cook it at 67, 12 hours, chill it, press it, portion it. By that point, the fat's rendered nicely as it's cooked slow. Crisp that up in a pan. Uh, and so a nice little rectangle of the, uh, the pork belly, the mussels, and then finish that with the light velouté, and, and there's your dish. A line caught hake is a main. Um, we wrap that in cured ham, curing that for two hours. Uh, but we do a nine spice salt. Um, so lots of cardamom, star and cinnamon, lots of aromatics going to the fish. Salt that only for two hours, because I don't want it to cure right through. Uh, wrap that into a cured ham. Uh, we, for this one we use Ventranche. Um, with that we do blood orange and also Seville orange. So the idea with that is just to celebrate the fruit itself. Skin we dehydrate without the pith, so you have a nice uh, powder. Once we've dehydrated that we add icing sugar, so it's not bitter, it's just the taste of the orange but slightly sweet, so that goes onto the base. Fresh uh, blood orange goes on top of that. Uh, we then do almost like a puree of that uh, or a juice uh, from the remaining pulp uh, where we've taken the blood orange and then make uh, basically a set froth. Hake is a very flaky, uh, affordable, sustainable fish. Um, so it's it, instead of buying cod, we prefer to, to, to buy that. So we add an artichoke puree um, and then with that some nice uh, Morecambe Bay shrimps. Let them warm through uh, under the salamander. Uh, then we get clams and we just lightly flour that in both corn flour and strong flour and then just get, crisp them up. In, in, a, in a touch of oil, so you've got a nice texture of that. And the whole dish is finished off uh, with the perfect square of sardelace potato. Potato and fish go very well, so we just do a nice layered uh, artichoke and uh, potato sardelace that's nicely pressed. So typical dessert at the moment on our a la carte, uh, which is prepared by John Grantham, our pastry chef, um, is a rhubarb and custard. So a very classic British dish, played along with uh, rhubarb and cream. So we looked at cream, ginger goes extremely well with, with cream. So we made a, a ginger creme brulee. So the juice from the poached uh, rhubarb, we then make that into a, a jelly. It's hold, hold itself a nice thin layer. And then the brulee is running through the center. So we looked at making a little caviar. Of, uh, of rhubarb and it's it's very very pleasing to the palate as the little bubbles pop pure rhubarb as you eat it. The little sponge, uh, so a jacon sponge is, is on the base with vanilla and then we have uh, white chocolate twill uh, that we make and just a little bit of, of colour from the rhubarb is just ribboned through so you've got a nice marble effect 